do hope you enjoyed that time lapse to start off today's episode. Now, this episode is a little late, to say the least. However, it's for the reasons, as I have mentioned before, I was just a bit burnt out of survival Minecraft and wanted a break from it to do other things and to improve some of my other skills. Not saying I'm going to be on loads, but I do want to return and the ideas are coming back to me. But to start off, I wanted to tell you a little bit about this farm that you saw in the time lapse. So it's a farm, however with the farm I built some trees which I'm pretty ha happy with. Trees are something I'm not the best at so it's nice to get some built to improve on them. And I believe the trees as well as the things like the hay bales and scattering some pumpkins and melons about really bring a little bit more life into it than just having a plain field. And also something I've done is hidden some water with brown carpet and in the grass, or as well as light sources, and then in the grass we're using the, oh I broke one then, we're using the green carpet. And I've done that around the rest of the area too, mostly, there's still a little bit more needs to be done. But this lights, helps light it up and means we're not going to have many mobs spawning. Now there is still some things I want to do building wise uh, and I think what I'm going to start off with is finishing this wall that goes around this area because I've decided that having a wall surrounding the whole village because I don't want to expand it anymore now is going to definitely help with the mobs and keeping this place a bit safer. Well then after quite a lot of work and time completing this wall it is finally done. Now you can see it over there for example and it also goes behind the house where it connects to the rear wall as I'm not going to do areas that I can just use buildings for instead and then it goes right round there, round there and then the two sides connect up just behind that house. So I'm happy with how it looks, I'm happy with its function, it's not perfect, there's going to be a few places where mobs can get over. However, it's going to drastically reduce the amount of mobs that could be spawning outside the wall and getting in. So now what I want to work on is adding some more trees to the area. And that includes the area I have been working on over here. As I wanted to put the area in first before I built the wall. So I knew where I wanted it. But it's this. So it's almost like a little potted garden. Uh, pretty much just something to fill the space. But it really needs some trees. I want to put on there, I want to put on there, and I want to put on there. And then we're going to have this gate here to then go down here to a little dock. As we currently don't have anywhere to put boats. So that's what I want to work on now. And I'll speak to you when that is done. Tree, tree, tree. Slightly bigger tree, tree. Small little dock. And tree. Now the trees and stuff, including the lighting actually, is done. What I want to do is after I've done some trading as that melon pumpkin farm is very efficient so I've got lots of melons and pumpkins from that I've been trading them and not only did I manage to get prop from one of the villagers and get it all on my armor from the emeralds I have also managed to obtain now 34 levels and with those 34 levels what I want to do is give Ch enchanting a set of diamond boots a go now what I would like is feather falling Okay, prop 4, we'll give it a go. Okay, that's not too bad. That that would work, but I think what I'm going to do is disenchant that. And I'll do it again. Give me a second. A few moments later. And give this another go. Oh, okay, that's alright. And I do want a piece of blast protection armor. So what I might want to do now is the only thing different there is mending so i can get another bending book pretty easy put that on there and that's in decent boots and that will give me the blast protection i need from creepers when i'm walking around my area one thing i do feel it lacks is life but that's not life like in the farms or in the bills themselves but on the paths they are detailed and it does give it a bit of character but there's not much happening so how i want to fix that first off is adding some light posts in. I'm gonna, I think, if we build one here, it should work. So we're gonna go up by, I think we'll go three or four there. Let's see. 
Yeah, we'll go up to there, and we're going to put that on there. And we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to put two chains and two lanterns. Now, I think I'm pretty happy with that for the design on that. I may variate it. I may get rid of it completely if it doesn't fit in. But I like it. I'm slightly tempted to remove the chains. They do hang pretty low with the chains, actually. But we'll see. But that's one thing I want to put in. And then I also want to use some of the other materials I've got as I am stacked up with blocks of detailing to make things like... There you are. There's a cart. And yeah, so those are the kind of things I want to put down. I'm going to spread them out relatively evenly. So Mayors might be a bit more busy, we'll have to see. But I'm just going to put a few of them in now and I'll meet you when they're done. So, it's a bit of a running theme in this episode. And I apologise for that. However, I did get a bit carried away. And just finished all the decorative stuff. Including the carts and the lights and all the lighting. And any small details. So, we're going to show you some clips of that. And then we're going to cut to the storage room and sorting all the farm linkage out. So now all those jobs are done, the last thing, the last thing I want to do on this base is the sorting system for my farms now all of these have been done we're just gonna forget about them so they won't all be sorted uh, they probably won't all be full here but I want to get it in and then I also want to have the links from the different buildings to this room with the minecarts like I originally planned because it's gonna look cool however this is not a small task so it's going to take me a little bit, but I'm going to start off now by building up the item sorter back here. I've started by putting the hoppers in, although I do need to remove that top row, I think. But I'm going to get this started, and I'll speak to you when I've made some progress. The majority of the redstone is put in. Well, I've put all the filters in. I want for now, we've got the things from the farm, so melons, pumpkins... Carrots, sugarcane, and then we've also got some of the bulk storage things like stone, cobblestone, etc. So I've set them up, set the filters up, it's all back here. Also tried to cover it up to make it look a bit better from the front, so you can't see the dirt. And that's where I'm going to have to leave it for tonight, as it's getting later. And I'll come back to it in the morning, and hopefully get a system to file them up from here, so I can manually put them in for the bulk items and if I get any of these separately and then start working on a way to bring the minecarts to here and getting the track set up but we'll see, we'll see well then, after quite a lot of work and fiddling I've managed to get a system which as you can see brings the melons and also brings the pumpkins and sugarcane up to the second floor of uh, this little shop building as it was an empty space and then this is where the minecarts come in and I'm going to set a system that brings the minecart it's going to go out of here and then somehow go to my storage room with the storage room I'll then have it go in on the side uh, then there'll be an unloading station that will unload it into the hoppers above and sorting it so there's still a lot of work to do however now I'm mostly used to the uh, detection systems for the uh, dispensers and droppers and it's very similar for minecarts so I'm getting a bit quicker and yeah I'm just excited to finally get this done six and a half hours later well 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 after quite a lot of work and putting off of doing boring tasks this base is done I am pretty sure of it at least so to run you through what I've done since I've put in the uh, system to manually put items in. I've also linked up the other areas. We've got a minecart track going here up into the area there 
and then this one goes over towards the carrot farm I could have linked it up to but I wanted to have a couple of tracks and then up there is where they go through I'm not going to go through it all it would take way too long and uh, to be quite frank it's getting on my nerves now how complicated it is but overall I'm very happy with this base and even more happy to be moving on to a new world as judging from what you can see from the bottom left we're going to have some new features and the features you haven't seen yet uh, on that world and it's going to be a lot of fun I do hope but from that this base is definitely helped me develop like my minecraft skills in general and building is not perfect by any means loads of things I could add, take away, change but I like the style I went with with the builds but just next time one thing I do want to do is go bigger and try a different style because I basically just built in this style at least similar to it when I've been an okay builder so I want to switch it up so we'll do that why does that minecart just stop? give me one second Anyway, please enjoy this little cinematic of this base. Want to say thank you for watching this video please consider subscribing if you did enjoy and i'll see you next time goodbye